We are still in subtopic 7.1. Now, we are going to talk about gravitational field strength. Or the symbol used is A subscript G. A gravitational field represents a region where a body or test mass experiences gravitational force. The body can be an atom, an object, or even a planet. And planet is the normal case for our syllabus. Let's refer to the diagram. From the diagram, the region around the particle creates the gravitational field. When there is a test mass in the region, it will experience gravitational force attracted towards the particle. Gravitational field strength at a point is defined as gravitational force per unit mass of a body, which is the test mass, placed at a point. Mathematically, Ag is equals to F over M, where Ag is the gravitational field strength, F is the gravitational force, and M is the test mass. The SI unit for gravitational field strength is Newton per kilogram or ms negative 2. It is a vector quantity and also known as gravitational acceleration or simply free fall acceleration. Its direction is always in the same direction as gravitational force. Okay, the value gravitational field strength on Earth's surface is equivalent to 9.81 Newton per kilogram. Or normally, we will say that it is the gravitational acceleration and the value is 9.81 ms negative 2. So, here is another situation. Let the particle be a planet and we use the symbol capital M. So the planet or the particle creates a gravitational field in space around it. Okay, so this is the region around the planet. And when there is a test mass M is placed at point X in space around the mass or in the region, it will experience the gravitational force towards the planet. Okay, so applying the equation A equals to F over M and we have looked before in subtopic 7.1.1 gravitational force F is G M M over R squared. So when we substitute the equation of F into the equation of AG, we will finally end up with equation of AG equals to G M over R squared, where G is the universal gravitational constant, the same that we use in equation F, capital M is the mass of the planet and r is the distance between the center of planet and the point where the test mass is placed so from the equation above we can see that gravitational field strength ag is directly proportional to the mass of planet capital m therefore if a greater mass, it will have a greater value of Ag. And another relationship, Ag is inversely proportional to distance r. So as r increases, the value of Ag will decrease. Okay, so let's look the graph of Ag against r. So Ag varies with altitude or distance or height and depth 
from the surface of a planet. Let's take Earth as example. Okay. When the distance r is less than the radius of the planet, the relationship between gravitational field strength AG and distance r is directly proportional. So, we will have a straight line graph. And when the distance r is at the radius of this planet, okay, or simply said at the surface, the value of AG will be equivalent to 9.81. However, as R is bigger than the radius of Earth, the relationship between AG and R will be inversely proportional. Therefore, the, curve, the graph will decrease as R increases. This is why when you are far away from the center of a planet, you will feel weightless. This slide shows the summary for gravitational field and the different distance from the center of the Earth. We have three positions that we can consider. The first one, when the position of a test mass is outside the surface of the Earth or when the object is on the surface of the Earth and lastly, when the object is inside the surface of Earth.